Yo guys, what's going on, Tim Pass here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to do pixel art in Photoshop. A lot of you guys have been struggling with it and have been asking to do a bit of a more um, detailed uh, tutorial on how to just do it in Photoshop. So yeah, I'll just show you guys some cool tips and tricks. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is, if you guys have been watching me recently, I've been doing a lot of overlay work over on Twitter and I've done some videos on YouTube. So I'll show you guys how to set that up and then just a cool, t cool uh, few tips and tricks on how to um, just do pixel art. So here we go. You wanna go to create new and uh, we're going to set up the document right here 2560 by 1440 as you can see here pixels um rgb 8 bit uh, just copy down all of these settings right here create and what we're going to do first is go over to the rectangle tool um and obviously this is this isn't the um like the final thing we, we need to like scale it down and stuff but before we scale it down we do need to add a rectangle for the overlay so i'm going to choose a dark red for the base of the overlay and i'm going to set it to 1920 by 1080 and we're just going to rasterize it and bring it to the center um, and then once you've done that we're going to go to image and this is where we change it down to the pixel art style um, so what you want to do is just take a zero off the end so it's 256 by 144 and make sure it's on nearest neighbor hard edge it needs to be set on that guys pixels and press ok so now it's really small and you can start doing pixel art work but um, yeah it, I don't actually do this but what you guys can do is if you go to window uh, not window view sorry go to show and then pixel grid it doesn't look like anything's happened but if you zoom in a lot of pickle, pickle, pixels uh, you can see like a massive grid and this really helps for beginners you can see where the next pixel can be placed um, but yeah I don't use this because I just it kind of if you zoom in it kind of takes away the color like it looks really gray but uh, yeah I just kind of I, I don't use that guys but for beginners it's very very useful I did I started off when I was doing pixel art I started off using that but I quickly just changed and started doing it without it's not really necessary but if you guys want to use it you can do um, but yeah you, in pixel art you don't use a brush you can do and I'll show you like guys later why but I, uh, you need to use a pencil tool in this and make sure it's on one pixel the size um, yeah and 100 opacity we'll start off with so to get the overlay you want to control click on the thumbnail go to select modify and contract by three press enter and then delete on your keyboard and there we have got the start of an overlay uh, i'm just going to show you a few cool things that i like to do um, with pixel art um, because i know a lot of you guys struggle so what you want to do is add a new layer and the first thing we're going to do is just add a cool um, glow slash highlight so what you want to do is go to white and in the corner actually before we do that we're going to go to the background layer press ctrl u and just bring down make it darker so like so then on the top layer we're going to press in the corner and we just add one white pixel and then what I like to do is go to the brightest version of the so I've made the overlay a dark red you guys can choose whatever dark color you want um, it doesn't have to be a dark color but for this I am doing and then I'm gonna choose a really bright version of that color I'm using so red and I'm gonna click twice like so in the corner and then I just basically bring down the opacity each time of the brush and just keep clicking so it creates a really nice fade in the corner and you just want to keep doing that until you've got down to pretty much zero on the opacity I'm just gonna leave it like that in fact I'll do one more so yeah just keep going but yeah once you've done that um, just to save time what I usually do is just press ctrl J and then move it up rather than just doing it each time just press ctrl J and then flip uh, vertical and then you've got that and then I just merge them control E control T and then flip horizontal and then just drag that to the other side like so 
I didn't even press Control J, my bad. Control J, flip horizontal, and then move to the other side. And then you've got that. And I don't usually leave it there, you guys can do, but to make it look a lot better and a lot cleaner, I like to add a new layer, create clipping mask, and then go to the brush tool. Now this is where it comes in handy. Um, it's best for just adding glows and adding lights to areas where you just, um, where you want it to just brighten up a little bit. So in the corners, to enhance the glow, I'm just gonna click in each corner. It's not perfect, but you guys get the idea. And I just set that to screen, and it gives it a really, really nice glow. And you can do, um, you can use this technique in other places. If you add a new layer, create clipping mask, go to white. In the middle of each one, sometimes I like to click. Um, it's probably not even this, but you know, you guys get the idea. And I usually set that to overlay, and then just duplicate it and create clipping mask again. To enhance it and yeah it gives it a really really nice glow I also like to add shadows and stuff so um, you can't really you won't be able to see it really but if we just add a new layer um, above the overlay and go to pencil tool black it's all about layering up on top of the overlay if you just leave it like that it'll be really boring I like to go over it and add as much pixels and um, as much um, like highlights and shadows <clears throat> as I can, sorry guys. <clears throat> so usually around the outside, if you go to opacity, bring it back up to 100. On this, if we just bring this layer up to the top, um, I, I like to go around the outside, inner, like so, you guys get the idea. If you hold down shift as well and click, you can just like, it just like makes a complete line. So I've clicked here, um, and then go down to the bottom, hold down shift and click again. It makes a straight line. That's really useful in pixel art. So you don't have to go all the way across. But yeah, I've added a black um, line in like an inner stroke um, with the pencil tool. And I usually like to bring down the opacity of that. And it gives it a really, really nice shadow. And you can do the exact same around the outside, but with white. That looks really, really cool. I know it's basically like I'm showing you guys how to make an overlay, but these techniques is um, really helpful in pixel art. So yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do some simple animations in a minute as well. So I'm just holding down shift around the outside. I'm just going to make an, a line like so. Um, <clears throat> but you want to do as much to the overlay as you can. So I'm bringing down the opacity of this here. Sometimes I like to set it to overlay as well, um, and that looks really, really nice. And then in certain areas, you can go to the eraser tool, make sure it's on brush, and just like click in certain areas to make it darker. And this looks really cool, creates a nice contrast. Um, but most of the time, it's gonna be on pencil, and it's gonna be on one pixel, so you can get rid of each ind individual pixel. But you can make it bigger, obviously, um, if you wanna get rid of large chunks. Um, and you can also bring the, down the opacity of it as well. Um, so yeah, that looks really nice. Um, and then, yeah, some, some of you guys have like wondered how, how to add texture to things. Um, that, that's pretty much it. It's all about adding highlights and shadows. Um, but what I also like to do sometimes is, um, if it looks a bit plain, I like to just like click in random places like so. Going all the way up. So I'm just going to leave it like that and I usually just set that to like overlay or something and it gives it a really cool texture like so um, and I just go around the whole entire thing. Obviously it's a lot better than that and in some places I'd bring down the opacity and click. I wouldn't just like do it the exact like all the way along. I wouldn't just have it on full opacity bright. I'd bring down the opacity so it's d um, darker in some areas but you guys get the idea. Um, you can also use a pix um, the pen tool in pixel art if you don't want to use the uh, pencil. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do a simple animation right now. So if you go to window, go to timeline, you, you can now animate. All you got to do is go to create frame animation and you want to make sure it's on 0.1 seconds. So that's the delay between each frame and I'll show you guys what frames do right now. Make sure it's on forever as well. That just means that 
once the animation's done, it'll just restart and just keep going over like a loop. So, say you wanted to add like a little shine at the bottom of the overlay. Let's just like, merge everything together. Um, what you want to do is, let's say, let's make this 10 frames long. Um, that's not how many seconds, that's how many frames there is. Like so, if you just keep press, if you press play, it just like continues forever as you can see. So within this like section, we want a rectangle. We basically want to add a shine that goes along the bottom of the bar. So create clipping mask. And we're going to press control T, control shift alt and we're just going to do something like that. And basically, it's going to start there. In fact, we'll start off screen. On the second frame, we're going to move it along. And then, next frame, move it along further. The frame after that, move it along even further. So basically, each frame it moves along, like so. Very simple stuff and depending on how far you move the thing along the quicker it's going to go so just keep moving it along and if you press play you can see it moves and you can increase the speed of that by changing the interval between each frame so if you want no delay it'll just go really quickly like so but obviously that's a bit too fast so I like to keep it on 0.1 um, but you guys get the idea it looks really nice and you just want to continue that all the way along to the other side just quickly do that and then yeah it's not perfect but you guys get the idea it does something like that um, I actually did a tutorial on something like this but yeah it's all about moving or changing the way something looks after each frame so one frame it's like that next frame it's like that next frame it's like that um, you can also bring down the opacity of it so if you bring down the opacity to like that the next frame is that so you want to bring it up a little bit more and each frame just increase it like so and then when it gets to the middle you can start bringing it back down again so anything that you change will affect the one layer that you're selected on so if you want something to change at a certain point you have to be selected on that layer otherwise it will mess up <clears throat> so yeah now we've got something like that very simple really quick um, and I'll show you guys how to add a like a star shine if you guys get me so like a little shine um, so let's just zoom in so I want it to appear <laughs> right now on the second frame so I'm just gonna click there next frame add a new layer <laughs> bring down the opacity and we're gonna do this this is where the grid would look would be uh, very helpful for the new people and then yeah next uh, layer frame add a new layer bring down the opacity and just do that and then that's the final stage now we want it to shrink down again so what we want to do is just hide all the layers go to the third frame and yeah first third frame is where we want it to start fourth frame we want it to look like that the one after that we want it to look like this so that's the final stage and six we only want the two and then the one after that just the one on its own then the one after that it's just gone so if we play that back it does this it's very nice um so yeah if you don't want it to just keep repeating really quickly all you gotta do is just add more layers and then you can just work on those layers as well because nothing's happening that's a pretty cool overlay itself not gonna lie um but yeah you guys get the idea it's all about um changing the way things look each frame um, and yeah it's like still images and then when you play it back it looks like it's moving because it's changing each time
But yeah, that's pretty much it with pixel art, guys. Um, it's very, very easy. <coughs> Sorry about my throat, guys. But um, yeah, P you just need to basically just layer things up over the top of each other if you want things to look nice. Um, highlights and shadows are just perfect. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It's very simple. It's all about practicing as well. At first, it's quite hard and it's uh, it might be quite annoying, but the more you get the hang of it, the better you get. Um, it's all about patience as well. You've got to have patience. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll be doing a lot more tutorials on my channel on pixel art, so just stay tuned. Um, I'm still new to pixel art myself, so um, I feel like I'm getting better and yeah, I'll be showing you guys um, just, yeah, in the future, I'll have more tips and tricks. So stay with me, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications. I might be streaming tonight at 7pm. I'll let you know over on Twitter. Follow me there, guys, at TimpusHD. Uh, and yeah, let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next, what tutorials you want to see. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all having a sick day today. I'll see you in the next video.